Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video here today. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys about Ghost Board. So Ghost Board is kind of very actually similar to like Dumpad, um, where it's just a very simple kind of note-taking app that you can run anywhere um, with the URL and self-host it essentially. So you can see how I have my notes. You can add more stuff here, things like that. Um, it also does actually include a few things though that is a little bit different. So like you can actually use, if you hit at the very bottom, there's a change where you can have the headers and actually have, you know, update stuff so you can bold, italicize um, bullet points, things like that. So you can add a few more things in it. But the thing that makes it stick out compared to other um, things like Dumpad is essentially it's real-time editing. So say for example, you're working in a group, right? So I have um, it open up in one tab plus an incognito window, right? And you're like, hey, you need two people to make edits. So you can see I can add stuff here and it will appear here and vice versa, right? Like it's actually real time editing. So you, you can have multiple people edit this. So like if you're doing a group project or something like that and you need to take notes and you all just need to collaborate on one thing, this is really nice so that, you know, you can't accidentally overwrite overwrite someone else's notes, right? Um, so this is all real time and it's amazing, honestly. So um, that's a few things if you're looking for something that is a little bit more advanced than like Dumpad, where it's just, here's a pad, that's it, nothing more. But if you need, you know, real time editing, this might be your solution for you. So, but if you wanna self-host it here, um, I'll show you how you can also self-host it as well. So it's self-hosting it is pretty simple. So I got a virtual machine installed. It has Docker, Docker Compose, Nginx for my certs. It's all pretty much set up um, with my automation stuff. And if you're interested, feel free to check out my automation playlist series um, in the description below. Um, but what we'll do is go to their GitHub. So go to GitHub and we will scroll down a little bit and we can see to run this, there's a few like essentially commands, but we really only need to run this command right here, right? So um, in this case, it will forward 8080 to port 80 on the server, on the container that's running, and then we can open it up actually on 8080 um, in this case, because I actually have my Nginx uh, forwarding 8080 to um, proxy passing it so that I can do HTTPS. So what we can do is start docker.sh. We'll create a script for this so that um, I can make some edits and a few other things. So for the most part, this is this command it will work. I personally like to do the hyphen D for detached mode so it runs in the back end um, background so that it's not just running in your session essentially. Um, and then we can make sure it's executable and then we will start it. So um, if you don't have Nginx with like a cell set set up, you can essentially just go to HTTP, the IP or the DNS that you created for the server. And in this case, and then 8080, and you can get to it. Now, if you do have Nginx set up, then you don't have to worry about the port because you already set that in the Nginx config and you use HTTPS like this, right? Um, HTTPS is a lot of fun. It's kind of a pain in the ass to actually set up, honestly. Um, but at the end of the day, once you get it working, it, it saves so much time not having to deal with like, um, you know, so it's an unencrypted stuff. So, but that's pretty much how you set up Ghost Sports. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.